Hi, and welcome to What's Up Greg. I'm your host, Greg Crescino, and I'll tell you what's up today. We're going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to show you a short film that I made back in 2014 called The Projectionist. It's about a movie projectionist who always wanted to be an actor, so he's a frustrated actor. So showing films every day of all these actors and the new guys that are coming up, he knows they're not really talented, and it bothers him in such a way. So every once in a while, when he looks out into the audience, he sees himself in classic films. So I recreated a scene from some classic films, uh, North by Northwest, uh, On the Waterfront, Midnight Cowboy, and Casablanca. And so eventually he gets his wish. He's in the film, just like uh, a Twilight Zone genre. It was really good. And it stars Francis Lee, co-starring Matt O'Connor, Ken Wilkinson, and Donna Sirianni. Very talented people. We had a good time doing it, and I hope you enjoy it. So before we start, I'm going to show you a quick trailer of the film, and we'll go right into the film. Thank you. I wish my life was a non-stop Hollywood movie show. A fantasy world of celluloid villains and heroes. Because celluloid heroes never feel any pain. And celluloid heroes never really die. These so-called movie stars, boy, do they have the world full of men. I could have been somebody. I could have been a contender. I think I'm cracking up. Hey, I'm walking here. I mean, I'm starting to see things. What kind of thing you starting to see? Movies from the past. And I star in them. I've got a job to do too. Where I'm going, you can't follow. I could have been somebody. These so-called movie stars, they really think they can act. Boy, do they have the world fooled, man. I remember when actors were actors. Burt Lancaster, Marlon Brando, Spencer Tracy. Those were the days of real actors.
could have been an actor. I could have been somebody. I could have really been somebody. Get ready. Make sure you can all that film tonight, all right? That van's coming early in the morning to pick that shit up. You got it? Oh, yeah, boss. I won't forget. Got it. All right, so you don't. Don't worry about him, Jerry. You're gonna be a star. Schmuck. Go ahead, Jerry. Take a look. Go ahead. How much you weigh, son? You know, when you were 168 pounds, you were beautiful. Could have been another Billy Kahn. Then that skunk we got you for a manager. He brought you along too fast. It wasn't him, Charlie. It was you. Remember that night in the garden? You came down to my dressing room and you said, Kid, this ain't your night. We're going for the price on Wilson. Remember that? This ain't your night. My night, I could have taken Wilson apart. So what happens? He gets his shot outside in the ballpark. And what do I get? A one-way ticket to Palookaville. You was my brother, Charlie. You should have taken care of me just a little bit. You should, you should have taken care of me just so I wouldn't have to take them dives for the short end money. Oh, I put some bets down for you. You saw some money. You don't understand. I could have had class. I could have been a contender. I could have been somebody instead of a bum, which is what I am. Let's face it. you, Charlie. Okay. Okay. I'll tell him I couldn't find you. Then the one he won't believe me. Yeah. Take this. You're gonna need it. You! You! Pull over! I need a break. I need a break. These girls are not quiet. They're old and dignified. Social register types, you know what I mean? They can't be trotting down the Times Square to pick up the merchandise. What they need is a middleman. And that's where Daniel comes in. You know what I mean? Hey! Hey! I'm walking here! I'm walking here! You son of a bitch! Come on, get out of here! Don't be that way! Don't, don't worry about him. Actually, that's not really a bad way to pick up insurance money, you know what I mean? Hey, Mickey, what's up? Hey, Jerry, how you doing? All right. Oh, fuck. So how's everything, all right? Yeah, it's all right. Thanks, man. I really need this. Thanks, man. You know, I think I'm cracking up. I mean, I'm starting to see things. See things like what kind of thing you starting to see? Like, like myself in the movies. You mean like porn movies? No, no, man. Come on, Mickey, man. Right, this right. is serious stuff. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Tell me what's on your mind. Movies from the past, and I star in them. You know, like North by Northwest. 
on the waterfront. On the way over here, Midnight Cowboy. You know, Jerry, you've been working pretty hard, you know, maybe you need to take a break, go fishing or something, you know, I mean, take it easy a little bit. I mean, what the hell? You know, between that jerk off of a boss and my own screwed up life, I'm gonna pop, all right? And I'll tell you, that boneheaded, soft-bellied mother- whoa, 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 take it easy, Jerry. Listen, I know the guy's an asshole and he gets off on fucking people with like you, but you, you know, you can't let that get to you, man. Just relax, here, listen, you know, this one's on me. I'll be right back, I gotta take care of a customer. But just take it easy, all right? Thanks, man. You know, they pay these guys to be in the movies a lot of money. And it's something that I would do for nothing. And you know, these guys, they really think they deserve it. Who do you have today? What, George Clooney? Brad Pitt? Mark Wahlberg? You know, I could have been somebody. A star! Thanks, Mickey. No problem. Yeah. I gotta go. Take care. Oh, poor sap. Where are you going? What are you doing? How many times I got to tell you, do not leave the movie theater. You got it? Inside of us, we both know you belong with Victor. The report of his work, the thing that keeps him going. If that plane leaves the ground and you're not with him, you'll regret it. No. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. But what about us? We'll always have Paris. We didn't have, we'd, we'd lost it. Till you came to Casablanca. We got it back last night. When I said I would never leave you. And you never will. But I've got a job to do, too. Where I'm going, you can't follow. What I've got to do, you cannot be any part of. Elsa, I'm no good at being noble. But it doesn't take much to see that problems of three little people don't amount to a hill of beings in this crazy world. Someday you'll understand that. Now, now. Here's looking at you, kid. Believe me, people. I'm a waste. Believe me, people. It's a waste. Hey, good money for this. Let's get out of here. I guess if it happens again, I'll get some money back. Excuse me. What? The movie just stopped. Oh, what happened? What's the problem? Larry. Larry. What was it? Hold on. What? What's up? The movie. What about the movie? It just stopped playing. Well, go talk to Jerry, see what the problem is. You talk to him. You know that guy's weird. Listen, I gotta go. All right, bye. All right, I'll go find out what the problem is. 
Jerry! You dumb bastard, where the fuck are you? I think Larry's losing his mind. Girl, you can't lose what you never had. Hey, good morning. Can you tell Jerry I'm here? Jerry's not here. What happened? What are you calling sick? No, he left the film run out last night and took off. I have no clue where he is. That's not like him. He's a good guy. He wouldn't do something like that. Maybe uh, something came up. Did you uh, call his house? What am I, a fucking moron? Of course I called his house. Just pick his shit up and go. Look at these actors today. These movie stars think they can really act? <laughs> I could have been an actor. I could have been somebody. I could have really been somebody. enjoyed that film. I mean, I got plenty of comments on it and they, people did enjoy it and I hope you enjoy it. And from now on, every once in a while, not every week, but uh, we're going to show someone else's shorts and we'll discuss them and, and they'll have some information. Every once in a while, I'll bring a guest on talking about these shorts and things like that. But I'm glad you watched my show today. I'm glad you uh, watched the film and I hope you enjoyed the film and come back next week. God bless. Remember, What's up, Greg? <laughs>